Hi guys and welcome back to the Crochet Tour YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you another crochet tutorial. Uh, this time it's for an Animal Crossing character. So this is Agnes. I've made a couple of these now. So here she is. Um, and as you can see, this was the first iteration uh, on my left and I've made a few changes. So the main changes I uh, made were just to decrease the number of uh, rounds in the snout by one and then also decrease the number of um, chains in the dress as well by one. So yeah, there's a slight difference between the two, but they're effectively the same. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in learning how to make Agnes, then keep watching and I'll tell you what materials you'll be needing. So for this project, you'll be needing Aran yarn in the following colours. Black, hot pink, uh, I've got baby pink and light pink as well. You could just use the same shade of pink. It doesn't really make a massive difference, but I wanted to have both of these shades as this is used for the dress and this is used for the hooves and the snout. Um, then I've also got baby yellow and then you will need some scrap amount of white yarn too. Uh, that's just to embroider the mouth. Then you'll be needing a four millimeter crochet hook. So this is my crochet hook you'll be needing black and white felt so you don't need as much as I have here but um, just to show you then you'll be needing some scrap sorry I've already shown you the scrap white yarn so that's fine the next thing you'll be needing is a black permanent marker this is to add in the detail for the eyes again you might find a better way to do it um sewing or something like that but when I tried it, it didn't really work out for me so I used a pen instead then you'll be needing a yarn needle like this for sewing you'll be needing some stitch markers i just use some uh, scrap bits of um, yarn you'll be needing your scissors some fabric glue and i don't have it to hand but you'll just be needing some uh, fiber fill stuffing or whatever stuffing you like to use um so yeah so once you've got all your materials together i'll start um showing you how to create the head and the body which are crocheted as one piece um and as always the written pattern is available for free on my blog which will be linked down below so if you want to uh, have that open while you follow along with this video then um feel free to do that so yeah let's get started so the head and body are crocheted in one piece and we're going to start by crocheting the head so to start off with we need to just do six single crochets in a magic circle so one two three four five six and then pull closed and then we're just going to increase in every single crochet all the way around in round two and that will get us to 12 single crochets so one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then the next few rounds are just standard uh, six single crochet increases um, in each round. So I'll just talk you through them. So round three, single crochet increase and repeat that six times in total to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. Round four, two single crochet increase, repeat six times, that'll get you to 24. Round five, three single crochet increase six times and that'll get you to 30. Round six, four single crochet increase, repeat six times, that'll get you to 36. Round seven, five single crochet increase, repeat six times, get you to 42. Round eight, six single crochet increase, repeat six times, get you to 48. Um, and I will meet you at the end of round eight when you have 48 single crochets in the round. I've just reached the end of round eight now and I've got my 48 single crochets all the way around. Now we just need to do five rounds of single crocheting all the way around. So uh, rounds nine to 13, we're just simply going to single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round 13. 
just reached the end of round 13 now you should have something that's starting to look a bit like this um now we're going to do a couple more rounds of increases now but we're going to do increases of four each round rather than six um and this is hopefully going to create the appearance of uh kind of cheeks in the face so for round 14 you need to do 11 single crochets increase and repeat that four times and that will get you to uh, 52 single crochets at the end of the round then for round 15 just single crochet all the way around uh, so remain at 52 single crochets and then for round 16 we need to do 12 single crochet increase repeat that four times that will get us to 56 at the end of the round and then for round 17 again we just single crochet all the way around so remain at 56 single crochets um, and I will meet you at the end of round 17 as we will start decreasing after this point. I'm at the end of round 17 now and I've got my 56 single crochets all the way around so at this point we're going to start decreasing so for round 18 we're going to do five single crochets so one two three four five and then we're going to decrease and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So you need to do that pattern uh, eight times and that will get us down to 48 single crochets. So we're doing eight decreases uh, in round 18. And then from round 19 onwards, we're just going to do standard uh, decreases in increments of six. So I'll just talk you through those now. So round 19, six single crochet decrease six times to get us to 42. Round 20, five single crochet decrease six times to get us 36. Round 21, four single crochet decrease six times to get us 30. Round 22, three single crochet decrease six times to get us to 24. And then round 23, two single crochet decrease six times to get us to 18. And I'll meet you at the end of round 23 as this is when I'm going to start stuffing. I got to the end of round 23 and now you should have something that's starting to look like a head so I'm going to start stuffing this now so I've got my stuffing uh, you want to stuff this quite firmly but obviously make sure that you can't actually uh, see the stuffing um, through the gaps in the crochet as much as possible as well so don't overstuff so I'm just gonna keep going and kind of just shape it as you add more stuffing and don't worry you could always um top up a little bit more in the next few rounds if you find that you haven't added enough so this is probably gonna be enough for me for now yep so that will do for me uh, and obviously i'll tidy up these uh, bits of stuffing that are visible um, afterwards but yeah then your head should look something like this um, so now we're going to do uh, one round where we're going to sort of create the neck so for round 24 we're just simply going to single crochet all the way around so in each of the 18 single crochets and then for round 25 we're going to start increasing again so we're going to do two single crochet increase six times to get us to 24 round 26 we're just going to single crochet all the way around so 24 single crochets round 27 we're going to increase once again so three single crochet increase six times to get us to 30 and then for rounds 28 to 38 so that's 11 rounds we're just going to single crochet all the way around so 30 single crochets in each round um and i will meet you at the end of round 38 as that's when we're going to start doing some uh, slightly more involved steps so now that we've got to the end of round 38 uh, you should have something that looks like this so you've basically got most of the body crocheted now and the next step is to decide where your face is going to sit on the head so as you can see I've decided that it's going to sit on this side so I've placed a pin to remind myself that this is the front of uh, Agnes um, and then once you've chosen which side you're going to put the face on then what you need to do is you need to uh, go back to your work and you just need to crochet up to the left hand side from our perspective so because this is the front of Agnes um, this will be the left side from our perspective so I'm just going to crochet up to that point 
this may be um, a lot more or a lot fewer stitches for you depending on where you felt that the um, head best fit on sorry the face best fit onto the head so just gonna one more I think and then I think this is going to be the left hand side for me um, and then once you've reached that point then we can crack on with round 39 so in round 39 we're going to do a few decreases so we're going to start off with a decrease then we're going to work 11 single crochets so one two three Then we're going to work two decreases so you can see why it was important to uh, crochet up to the left hand side because the decreases need to be specifically placed on the edges um, of Agnes to make this the correct shape so then we're going to do 11 more single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then we're gonna decrease once more and that is the end of the round so now we have 26 single crochets at the end of round 39 so now that we've finished with round 39 we're going to start mapping out the legs i like to use stitch markers to do this just to remind myself where legs start and end so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to count six single crochets from uh the last stitch of round 39 so we're going to go one two three four five six and we're going to place a stitch marker in here then we're going to count back 12 from this point and we're going to place a stitch marker uh in the next stitch so we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oops sorry I'm going this one then what we're going to do is we're going to go not into this stitch but we're going to skip this one go into the next stitch and we're going to place another stitch marker in here and then finally we're going to count 12 from this one and place a stitch marker in that one too. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And as you can see, this maps out two legs that will be 12 uh, single crochets all the way around. And there should be a one single crochet gap on either side. So now that we have the legs mapped out, we're going to start actually crocheting them. So put your hook back into your work. We're just going to do six single crochets, which will take us up to the first stitch marker. Then we're going to crochet into the stitch marker corresponding on the other side of our work so this one here so i'm just going to remove it to make it easier for me and then we're going to do five more single crochets And that is the end of round one for the first leg. So you can see that's starting to come together. I'm just going to talk you through the uh, remaining rounds for the leg because they're quite straightforward. So for rounds two to three, you just need to single crochet in every of the 12 single crochets all the way around. Then for round four, you need to do four single crochet decrease, four single crochet decrease to take you down to 10. Then for rounds five to seven, you need to single crochet all around in each of the 10 single crochets. Um, and I'll meet you at the end of round seven as we need to do a colour change at this point. 
I'm at the end of round seven now and I'm going to change to my uh, light pink yarn. So in this pattern there'll be two uh, different pinks that I'm going to use. In fact, actually three different pinks. There's the light pink, this is what I'm going to use for the uh, the hooves. Then there's baby pink, which is what I'm going to use for the dress. And then there's hot pink, which is what I'm going to use for the inner ears. So this is the light pink that I've selected. Um, and to change the colour, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the fake single crochet method. So I'll just show you that quickly if you haven't seen that before. So I'm going to cut the yarn, leaving a bit of a tail. Then I'm going to turn my work round. I'm going to skip the next single crochet. So I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to go into this one instead. I'm going to pull through. Then I'm going to go back into the front loop of the uh, last last single crochet of round seven from my perspective and I'm just gonna pull through here and as you can see this creates a fake single crochet here um, and that just helps to mask the colour change so you can't see it um, as obviously as you would do in a normal colour change so now that I've done that I'm going to reattach my uh, light pink yarn into one of the stitches on the back of the leg so because this is the back and this is the front I'm going to choose one of these stitches on the back again because then it's less visible um, I'm just going to get my light pink And I'm going to work 10 single crochets all the way around for round 8. Got the black by accident there. Let's try that again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, Sorry, keep messing up here. Five. Six. Seven. Ten. Then I'm going to do uh, another round of single crocheting all the way around for round nine. So I'll meet you once I finish that. So I got to the end of round nine and I just added some stuffing to both the body and the legs. So you probably want to do that as well if you haven't already because we're going to move on to the final round now. So for round ten we're just going to decrease all the way around but in the back loops only. So one... Two, three, four, five, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to close up the hole as usual. going to go and grab my needle one second then I'm just gonna put my yarn through and feed out through another stitch and you see how that kind of flattened the hoof there um, and then I might just feed through one more and then cut and that is the first leg complete so now we just need to move on and do the other leg um, so I'll just show you how to reattach the black yarn uh, and the steps that you need to do for that Okay, so what we want to do is we want to turn our work so that the back of the Agnes is facing us. Then we want to go to the final uh, stitch marker that's remaining on the back and we want to count back six from this, including the stitch itself. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want to reattach our black yarn 
in this stitch. And we want to do six single crochets up to the stitch marker, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six and then we want to uh, do the next single crochet into the final marked stitch on this side so this stitch here trying to move the other leg out of the way so there we go and then we just want to do five more single crochets And there we go, that's our first round of 12 there for the other leg. So now you should have um, just a small one single crochet gap on either side um, from the two legs. And you should have uh, this leg with 12 single crochets in the round. So we're just going to do the exact same steps now for this, um, this other leg. So I'm just going to talk you through those once more. So for the next two rounds, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. So that's rounds two and three. Round four, four single crochet decrease, four single crochet decrease to get us down to ten. Round five to seven, single crochet all the way around. Then change to light pink and do two more rounds of single crocheting all the way around. So rounds eight to nine. And then finally round ten, decrease all around in the back loops only. And then um, obviously make sure that you stuff the leg before you do the decrease round. Um, and then just finish off as we did with the other leg. And then that will be the end of that. And then I'll just show you how I sew up the uh, gap remaining here. Now that I've got my two legs, I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, close up this um, little gap in the middle here. It's really simple, so all you need to do is grab a scrap piece of black yarn um, and use your needle and just go through a couple of the nearby stitches like this, leaving a bit of a tail here so that you can weave that in later. And then we just sew across I'm using a whip stitch but you can do this however you want and I'm just closing up this hole and I'll clean up any of the um the stuffing that's making its way through at a later point so I'm just going through this one yep and that's pretty much closed up so now I'm just gonna feed my tail through to another stitch like here for example and then I'm just going to do the same thing with this tail then I'm just going to slip those so there we have it now the hole is closed up and now we can move on to making the arms. We're going to start off with our light pink yarn and we're going to do five single crochets in a magic circle for round one. So one, two, three, four, five. Then for round two, we're going to increase in every stitch, but we're going to increase in the front loops only. So just show you me doing one of these so that was uh, the first increase so I'm just going to do that all the way around uh, and then I'll meet you at the end of round two so I increased all the way around and now I've got 10 single crochets at the end of round two. Now for round three, I'm just going to simply single crochet all, ar all around so just 10 single crochets two three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. And then now we need to change to black at the end of round three. You can use the fake single crochet method, but I'm just going to do the uh, standard method of colour change because it's easier to hide the colour change on the arm because you can simply make sure that the side where you change colour uh, is actually just facing the body so you don't actually end up seeing it when everything's sewn together. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to pull through in black rather than pink on the final single crochet of the third round uh, and now that I've done that it's pretty simple so for rounds 4 to 15 so that's uh, 12 rounds we need to just single crochet all the way around um, so I'll meet you when you get to the end of round 15. I got to the end of round 15 so now I'm just going to cut the yarn I'm going to leave quite a long tail because uh, I just prefer to make sure that I have enough for sewing so that should do and then I am going to add a very small amount of stuffing to the arm so I kind of just like to stuff the bottom uh, portion and then kind of leave the rest unstuffed but it's completely up to you um, how you want your arms to look So, yep, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to leave that. That's finished. Um, so you just need to complete all those steps once more to make two arms. And then I'll show you um, how to sew them to the body. I've got my two arms now. Um, so I'm just going to sew uh, both these down. So I'm just going to show you um, how I start to do this. So here is the body. And I'm going to sew the arms about this point here. So in that um, that round where we sort of did 18 single crochets all the way around for the neck, that is um, where I'm going to start sewing the arm down. So you can use pins and stuff if you want to, but I um, personally don't tend to do that for the arms. So I'm just going to start sewing. I prefer to use a whip stitch. You can use whichever stitch you like. I'm just going to keep going. Sometimes it takes a while to find a suitable stitch to um, pull your needle through. But yeah, so you can get the idea. So I'm just going to do that the whole way across. And then I'm also going to sew down these uh, back stitches here to um, some nearby stitches at this point as well. Uh, and then I'll show you once I've done that. I've sewn all the way around uh, for this arm now and the final step I'm going to do um, is I'm just going to sew down a few of these stitches um, just to just because I prefer the way it looks basically so I'm just going to do the exact same thing I'm going to do whip stitches I'm just going to check how that looks. Yep, I'm happy with that. So uh, what I will what I will do is just feed this through a random stitch and then cut as usual. Um, and then I'm just going to sew the other arm on, trying to make it as um, equal as possible on either side. Uh, and then once we've done that, I'll show you. And then we will move on to... Uh, let me just check what we're going to move on to next. Uh, we'll move on to the snout next for the face. So, yep, I'll see you when you've sewn both arms down. As you can see, my arms are fully sewn down now. So we're going to start on the snout. So we're going to take the same light pink yarn that we've just been using uh, for the hooves. And we're going to start off with five single crochets in a magic circle. Then we're going to increase in every single crochet all the way around.
then we're going to do single crochet increase all the way around and that should get us to 15 single crochets at the end of the round So now we're going to use the fake single crochet method to change to black. Sorry, we need to um, increase, sorry, we need to reattach the black yarn into the back loop only. Uh, sorry, I forgot that this round we're just doing back loops. So. so yeah, we just need to, for round four, single crochet all the way around in the back loops only in our black yarn. like so so that is the end of round four and then for round five we're just going to single crochet in uh, both loops all the way around once more And there it is, that is the snout. So I'm just going to cut leaving a long tail for sewing. And that's all we need to do for now. So now I'm going to move on to showing you how to do the ears. For the ears, we're going to start off with six single crochets in a magic circle using our black yarn. And then as all the other rounds are pretty simple, I'm just going to talk you through them. So round two, we do two single crochet increase, two single crochet increase to get us to eight. Then round three, we do single crochet all the way around, uh, so remain eight single crochets. Then round four, we do three single crochet increase, three single crochet increase to get us to ten. And then rounds five to six, so the next two rounds, we just single crochet all the way around. And then you just need to cut the yarn, leaving a long enough tail for sewing. And you just need to do that twice to get two ears, so I'll show you once I've reached that point. I finished my two black uh, ears now, so now we're going to make the inner part of the ear. So grab your hot pink yarn. Um, we're going to start off by chaining two. So yeah, this is worked in rows. So we're going to chain two. And then in the second chain from hook, we're going to increase. Didn't get all the loops on my hook there, sorry, let me try that again. 
There we go. Then we're going to chain one, turn. Then we're going to just single crochet across. So in the two single crochets. So one, two, chain one, turn. Then for the third row, we're going to increase in both stitches. And then for the fourth and final row, we're going to single crochet across. Okay, so then we just need to cut the yarn, leaving again a tail for sewing. And then you're going to repeat all those steps once more to make two uh, inner ear pieces. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take your ear, your black ear, and you're just going to sew the pink part on top of it like this. Uh, I won't show you how to do that because it's just uh, simple sewing. Uh, you can use a whip stitch or whatever stitch you like. So once I've sewn those pieces down, then we're going to move on to making... Um, sort of sewing everything together on the face so the ears the snout and then i'll show you how to do the eyes as well um so yep yeah. 